95.5 WFMS. Good morning. You're with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Can't be deaf. No, you can't. Can't be deaf. It's time for a round of Can't Be Deb, and Lisa's on the line. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Lisa, where are you from? What's that town? Noblesville. 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 There it is. God's She's country. Very chipper. That's my, well, the people of Noblesville are chipper. Are, are they all? Okay. Yeah. Well, here's how we play. Lisa, we're going to ask you five questions. We asked Deb those same five questions. Yeah, of course, if you get more right than Deb, then you win. But if she gets more right than you, or here's the catch, if she ties you, she wins. And if you're ready, let's start with question number one. Okay, Lisa, here we go with question one. The average person has almost 3,000 photos on their phone. Now, which is older, cell phones with cameras or the Fitbit? Uh, camera with or phone with camera. Cell phones with cameras. Yes. Okay. Question two. It's backyard bonfire season. Mm. Uh, well, now what are the three ingredients in a s'more? Oh, those are my favorite. <laughs> uh, graham crack, marshmallow, and chocolate. Okay. Question three. Snoop Dogg turns fifty-two years old this month. Now, Snoop's real first name is Calvin. Harvey or Francis? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> What'd you say, Calvin? Calvin, Fran- Harvey, or Francis? Calvin. All right, question four. It was National Vodka Day earlier this week. Now, what is it called when you mix vodka with orange juice? A screwdriver. And question five. The Major League Baseball playoffs are underway. Now, what does it mean if the batter's count is two and two? Uh, two balls, two strikes. There we go. There's our five questions. Let's bring Deb back in the room and see how she does on 95.5 WFMS. 95.5 WFMS. Good morning. You're with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Can't be Deb. No, you can't. Can't be Deb. It's back to Can't Beat Deb. Deb is back into the studio here. Say hello to Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Deb. How are you? You sound chipper and yeah. bright, bright and awake this oh, morning. She's definitely bright. Uh, she did very well. Okay, good. And so uh, she's from Noblesville, Sue. So and I'm her name's Lisa? Proud of her, yes. Okay. All right, Deb, you ready? Yeah. Question one. The average person has almost 3,000 photos on their phone. Now, which is older, cell phones with cameras or the Fitbit? Or the what? Fitbit. Cell phones with cameras are older. <laughs> There you go. All right. Yeah. So Lisa understood the question and okay. got it right as well. well so everybody it. scores. It's Deb one, Lisa one. All right. Question two. It's backyard bonfire season. What are the three ingredients in a s'more? The three ingredients um, are graham crackers, marshmallows, and a chocolate bar. That's correct. A whole chocolate bar. <laughs> That's right. Lisa knew that, too, so everybody scores. It's Deb 2, Lisa 2. It's kind of easy, actually. All right, question three. Snoop Dogg turns 52 years old this month. Now, Snoop's real first name is Calvin, Harvey, or Francis? It's definitely one of those? One of those. His real first name. I don't know this. Calvin, Harvey. It can't be Francis. Um, Calvin. Total guess. That's correct. Woo! And Lisa knew that, too. Okay. So, again, everybody scores. Shoot. It's Deb 3, Lisa 3. We've got a good game yeah. going here. The Calvin Dog. Mm-hmm. That's kind of a neat name. Well, I don't think his, dog's really not really his name. Name. <laughs> Okay. All right, question four. It was National Vodka Day earlier this week. Now, what is it called when you mix vodka with orange juice? It is. There is a special name for that. Let me see. Let me see here. Hang on. A Bloody Mary is tomato juice. So vodka and orange juice is a screwdriver. That's correct. And Lisa knew that, too. Jeez, so again, everybody scores. It's Deb 4, Lisa 4. We're going into the final question. All right. She screws All this one up. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> question 5. The Major League Baseball playoffs are underway. Now, what does it mean if the batter's count is 2 and 2? Um, well, <laughs> if it's 3 and 2, it's a full count. There's a name for two and two. <laughs> what does it mean if the batter has a count of two and two? They've what got two mean? strikes and two balls. How is it called? What does it mean? Well, it means they better figure something out. Um, <laughs> is that what you're looking for? I don't think so. Should I tell you that Lisa got this no, right? No, don't. I hate so when you So this do is that. very important that no, you stop lose, and think about I the lose question. Focus when you okay, do that. Okay, stop and think about the question. Two that, strikes, two uh-huh. balls. Uh-huh. It means. Say that again. What did you just say? Two strikes and two balls. There Is that the you answer? Go. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you meant it had like a little nickname or something funny. Lisa also, as I mentioned, got it right. Oh, Lisa. Look at this. I don't think this has happened in a long time. 
Everybody got all five questions correct. And we tied. Lisa, I am so sorry to tell you, though, because rule number one and the only rule in Can't Be Deb is all <laughs> ties go to Deb. So despite playing what would be viewed as a perfect game, I know you still don't have what it takes to beat Deb. Wah, so sorry. Wah. Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> I do it. I mean, how much better can you get? I know. For crying out loud, too. I so. think we've got <laughs> oh. what? what was the score last time? Do you remember? It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, she remembers. All oh, right. Yes. Well, Lisa, we're glad you played here. So it's time for you to say it. I'm Lisa from Nobleville. I can tie Deb, but I can't. No, you can't yeah, beat her. That's, That's all right. right. <laughs> well, if you'd like to be a contestant, just text us 317-255-9367, and we'll get you set up for Can't Beat Deb.